Hello from Slovenia again. As I promised yesterday, I have... First of all, yesterday I had a live video where I did mixing paints with video for reverse flower dips, flower dips with US products that you can buy in US. So, uh, at the end of this video, I will compare this one with the one that we did yesterday. Because, as I said, I will use all the same products except I did add some polyurethane satin varnish into my pearl white. And pearl white is um, Mod Podge pearl mixed with this pouring medium and uh, titanium white. So, um, and I thinned them down just a little bit from yesterday, so this is the consistency. And I already put down the, the base, white base already, and this is the consistency. This one, if it will be better, I don't know. So, let's <clears throat> start this. I will just find kind of a middle, you know, just for orientation. And the base coat is Artist Love White mixed with pouring medium. And this one is Extreme Sheen Bronze. This will be my first color. I have to be careful with this one. Okay. And I will just switch order a little bit. I will add manganese blue next. And pearl white. And burnt sienna. And all the colors will be in the description box, so and pearl white again. You know when you start using new pouring medium, it's always when you mix your paints with different pouring mediums, they feel differently. So I think that in yesterday's video live that I mix my paints, I'm, I have them all a little too thick because I mix 2 to 1 ratio and they felt kind of okay but I think that they were too thick so that's why I thin them down a little bit today and add this polyurethane to pearl white because I know from my previous experiences that, that uh, polyurethane varnishes or paints uh, not polyurethane paints but satin paints create some kind of lacing effect so if you want more information about pouring medium and everything that I use please check my yesterday's live video you will find a lot of information there uh, because it's hard to, to tell everything in every video, that's why I'm telling you this. If you want to learn, learn really about everything, you will have to check my yesterday's life for details. And Amsterdam greenish blue. And the previous one was Pebeo blue green. Let me grab a skewer. It looks pretty nice. You will see. So I will blow this just a little bit and in the meantime I will draw some petals. And I will Switch my cup. Cut 
kind of and do one more layer so I really want to find the mixture that it will work for you people in states too because I know that a lot of you would love to do those flowers but just flow troll doesn't work as okay so let's see what we can do and two more and I will be done with the layering but I really enjoy this process when I pour paint on the, the cup you know it's just relaxing so for me so it's nice to enjoy in this part of the process too okay i will grab my napkin in the oh meantime leave this the hearts you can play with this part you can draw your petals as you want you know but try to keep them nice and try to keep your middle nice so I think that this will be it and I will just spray my paper napkin with water to you know soften it down as I said a lot of times you don't need to do that you can use dry one or even saran wrap or something but I prefer dumped paper napkins so let's layer this down because uh, of the air pockets I tell this quite a lot but you know it's easy easier to get rid of some air under your napkin than under your saran wrap now I will be quiet Still a lot of cells, but maybe, maybe, maybe a little more lacing. And because uh, there is, you know, uh, satin varnish, I I'm expecting some more. growing of this white and definitely is happening in the meantime I will just add a little white around this will pretty much self level you know whoop and I, this is what I don't want to do sometimes you just want to be weaker than you should be with your art it's never good to hurry with your art a little more here and I will be done okay 
I think that there is a lot more lacing than on the one without. Um, with thicker paints and without polyurethane, I would say. But I didn't thin down a lot, a lot. I thin down, thin them down just a little bit. But you will see, there is a difference. I will just try to bring this a little to the middle. But I think that I don't want to spin it. I will just leave it like it is and take you for a close-up. Definitely still different lacing than uh, with my pouring medium. So I will just go for the other one from yesterday that we can compare them. It's still drying, but okay. We will. See if there is any difference. Yes, I did layer my colors differently, but I'm talking about lacing and effects. So So here is a close-up. Let's go to the one from today first. Sorry. Wow. See this? Amazing. I'm loving it. Because it looks, you know, I don't know, like, I don't know, I love it, I love this lacing too. And yes, they are, it is a little different because of different layering of colors, but still, I really like it. And this is the one from yesterday that I like too, but... You see the difference? You almost don't see white here. That white lacing or whatever. It's really beautiful too. I, I just uh, try to tell you that you have two different options. What you like more. This kind of look or this kind of look. Mine would definitely be this one with polyurethane satin varnish in into the pearl white. So this is it for today. Hopefully this help you helped you. I'm definitely glad that I did this experiment because I'm in love with it. And if you want to you can join me again because I will definitely experiment with this mixture more. <laughs> so this is it for today. See you on the next one. Bye.